Hey, what is up guys? My name is Ollie, and today we are exploring the largest temple in Bali. We continue our road trip to Eastern Bali to explore the best and most unique places to visit in Bali, Indonesia. After about a 45 minute ride from Kalangasam, we arrive deep into the mountains as this temple is located at the foot of the largest volcano in Bali, which is called Mount Agung. Hello! Hello. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Komang. Komang? Yeah. There you go, nice to meet you Kumang. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yes. Now we are gonna fish it to the biggest temple of Bali. Biggest temple of biggest Bali. Biggest temple in Bali. So the temple is, was built from 11th century. Yeah. Yeah, it's more or less 1100 years old, the temple built. But wow. the temple is many times make restoration, so that's why it's looking new now. Yeah, yeah. because the, there was an eruption in 2017. I know, uh, 1963. 1960. 2017, just a small eruption. That was a small yeah. one. It's, it's okay here, no, no, no building is broken, but uh, 19... Uh, what does it mean? The, the, the 50 years ago, yeah. so the temple is broken by the big bull. So now we're going up to the main temple, and it's only possible to go in if you are praying, but we're only going to look from the door at the moment. There you go. You must be fit, doing yeah. this every day. <laughs> <laughs> now look at back, it's nice view. Wow. So now we are standing it's more or less 1,000 meters from the sea. 1,000? 1,000 meters high. Wow. That's the sea, you see? Yeah. Yeah, under the cloud. That, that must explain my bad oh. stamina right now. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not the lack of... And Changu is right there, you are staying. Very far wow, from here, yeah. You can actually see Changu there. Yeah, that's right. Crazy. Nice. This is the highest place of Bali. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so what about this place? Uh, is there any s ceremonies or ceremonies was inside you... of the door? Yeah. But this place is for the dancing when a big ceremony. Yeah. This was finished uh, five days ago. The big ceremony here. Yeah. That ceremony every year. Yeah. Yeah. For the praying people is behind of the door. Ah. Yeah. Inside of this temple we has three murti that yeah. symbolizing of the three main god like Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu. Yeah. Yeah. Creator, destroyer, and protection god. Ah, I see. Yeah, I yeah. see. So uh, I've heard this. Uh, I've heard this is the mother temple. Mother temple. Yeah. Yeah. The most important temple of Bali. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest and the oldest is here in Besaki. So that's why I call mother temple. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, does a, a lot of people go here for um, pray, meditate? Pray. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, but special ceremony on this temple is coming every year in March ah. till April. Yeah. I see. And for every day also have many people praying here, but that uh, uh, private ceremony. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like before, you see many people get down. He was praying here and yeah. then finish here. Yeah. But we are praying to the temple. It's not so long, just uh, ten until fifteen minutes. That's yeah. it, and then we go back. Penjor symbol of the dragon. Ah, yeah, the, 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 two, yeah, the two the two bamboo things yeah. there. So, so what does it symbolize? Symbolizing of the dragon for protection. Ah, yeah. So that's why we is looking like a dragon. It's beautiful. So what is this bell? Is this uh... Uh, the, the priest uh, during temple ceremony? The the priest will 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 use the bell ah. uh, like that one. You see, they have a little group. They are doing praying on inside here, and the priest yeah. will use the bell. Okay, so they're pr yeah. praying right there. Yes, yes, the ringing bell. Oh. So this place will only be used for ceremonies? Yeah, this place just for praying only can in here. Yeah. So according up the sign in front here we put it. Yeah. And that's one. With the English yeah. language. Yeah. It's for prayer and only. the three murtis that side behind of the umbrella. Yeah. Uh, symbolize of the three main god, Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu, and then four different colors of the umbrella. That's meaning of the three elements. For yeah. example, we have uh, the red one. It's for a uh, fire god. And then white and yellow, that's meaning of the wind god. Yeah. And then the black color is meaning of the water god. Ah. The water god is for Vishnu, and then the wind for Shiva, and the fire god is for Brahma. Ah, yeah. yeah. And the ah. tower like this one in Bali we call Meru. Meru symbol this of the mountain. Yeah. Big one, right? Yeah, here. yeah. The tower, yeah. I mean. And the roof of this tower is always odd number. So according of the Balinese belief, the odd number is the lucky one. For example, we has eleven. Yeah. And then nine, seven, five, three in one. Yeah. Yeah, that's meaning of the lucky one. Yeah, this temple is special for metal worker here. So is it is similar to the same down there, which was the smaller? Yeah, we have a level for a, a different class. Yeah. Yeah, this is for the third class here. So we come down to a middle point right here, and we got some places to eat and stuff for a break. 
Now we're going up. Yeah, we're going up, up, up. So if you guys were worried about not having <laughs> enough to drink, don't worry, guys. You're gonna have plenty of places along the way. Look at this. So the last temple is behind there. So, so there we can see the view. This, that temple. Th that's is for, the top one. Yeah, the top one. So the temple over there is for a uh, nature god. Yeah. We call Iswara. Iswara. Iswara, yeah. the god of the nature. Yeah. Yeah. So you can buy a lot of. Souvenirs and stuff yeah. here. Wow. Looking at so man. Look at this. So the this mask right here. Uh yeah, Rangda. Yeah. It's meaning of the bad spirit in Bali. Oh yeah? Yeah, in Barong is symbol of the good spirit. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look at this. Symbol of balance because good and bad is always together. Yeah. Yeah, we believe Rangda also Barong. Yeah. Because good and bad is balance. Uh -huh. And when we are respect to the good one, also we are respect to the bad one. Now we're heading up yeah. for the final final temple at the top. <laughs> there we go. So if you skip leg day, now you will get the final punishment. Yeah, I came yeah. from there. Sidman, and you have yeah. Changu over Changu there. Is there. And you will see another island there, that the Nusa Lembongan island. Ah, you yeah, see Lembongan from here as well. Yeah. Wow. Nusa Lembongan, you can see from here. You <laughs> can see all the places I've been. Yeah. Wow, look at this guys. So this is the highest point. point. Yeah. Look yes. at this. So what happens here? They're praying mostly or? Yeah, praying inside there. Yeah. Yeah. So all this uh, when uh, finished to the bottom there, maybe when the people have a time, they're coming up here and praying also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Depend on the time they have. So this yeah. is the main. Yeah, the main area. The main temple. The main area for advancing here and behind there the part of praying. So yeah. we can go in here, no problem. Oh, it's okay? Yeah, it's okay. And take a picture from here, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look my door, yeah. <laughs> nice. Wow, it looks amazing. So we are now on the way down again. And you can see, mm -hmm. this is from the top there. You got Mount Agung yeah. in the background. So when, when it uh, erupted back in 2017, was there a lot of here that was damaged? Uh, uh, only or? we get a raining ashes here. Yeah. And a little bit earthquake. Yeah. But the building are is okay, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, what is mean uh, 2017, the Monagung Europrid is not so bigger. Just mm. small one. Yeah. Only only uh, little psychic. Yeah. But 1963, yeah, it was big erupted and all the building is pulled down. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. that's the big one. So everything here is built new from... Uh, yeah, everything from is still yeah. new. Yeah. 1963 because all is pulled down because big psyching here and big earthquake. Yeah. Yeah, that oh. 19, 50 years ago. Wow. Yeah, 1963. But 2017 was smaller. Yeah. Are we still safe here? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we are now back at the bottom and we finished through here at Besaki Temple. It has been such an amazing place to visit today. It's, it was 60,000 to enter and I do think it is worth it. Uh, it's a little bit more pricey than other temples, but it's also a much bigger temple and you do get a guide with. You are, however, expected to give a tip along the way, so do keep that in mind. You want to tip a little bit extra and the people that are guys here generally only work one time per week. So you want to make sure that they have enough to provide for their family as well. So just make sure that when you arrive, as you saw in the first clip uh, at the beginning, uh, there can be a lot of pushy people here at the front, which is trying to sell you a sarong. You don't need that. You will get a sarong just like this at the front, which is part of the 60,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is expected by every foreigner and it's free for locals here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been a blast being here today and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.